So in this section, we only have one example. We kind of went through somewhat of an example with you, but that kind of helped with more the symbolic notation. So this is what you're gonna see kind of having to do on your own. Um, what, they're gonna, what they're giving you is uh, what P is, and now what does P represent? P is the hypothesis. So they're telling you that P is a number divisible by three, and Q, meaning the conclusion, conclusion is the a number divisible by six. So what we're going to do is we have five different things they're asking us to do. So the first thing it says, write P, and again this means implies Q in words. Okay. So what does that mean we're writing? So we're writing the conditional statement. All right, I'm going to make a little note to self. And the reason why that is is because all symbolic notation that looks this way is a conditional statement. So, okay. Ms. Hogarby, what would that look like? If a number is divisible by 3, then it is divisible by 6. And I can say it, right? You can't because okay. you've already said a number before and you're referencing that. Perfect. Okay. Great, great question. All right, moving on. Part B says write Q implies P in words. So what do you notice here? Okay, so that's the converse because I'm flipping the order. Good deal. And now I could write that as if a number is divisible by 6, then it is divisible by 3. And notice you could do this one of two ways. You could go back to conditional and just flip it like we normally do, or you can go to the directions, and if you see that Q is first, that's what you're going to put first. Just make sure you know that if and then are in there. It's not too difficult. Right. All right, part C. It says decide whether P, now this is the if and only if symbol, right? Okay, right. So that's Q, a Q. So this is your biconditional is true. Okay, so if that's true, that means that the conditional and the converse had to both be true. Okay. So let's think for a second. For the conditional statement, it says if a number is divisible by 3, then it is divisible by 6. So I'm going to just think of some examples. Okay, okay. so numbers that are divisible by 3. So 3, 6, 9, anything that's a multiple 3 yeah. really is yeah. going to be divisible okay. by 3. Okay. Then is it always divisible by 6? Well, like 3, 3 is not divisible by 6. So no, that's so false. So this right here, so you're saying the conditional is false, and she gave me a great example. The number 3 is divisible by 3, but it's not divisible by 6. Okay, so that would be my counter example, right? Yeah. Okay, great. Now, again, going back, you said in order to, for a biconditional to be true, both parts both have to be So I know it's not a true biconditional. I don't have to do any more work. Love it. Now, again, if the biconditional or the conditional was true, you would still need to look at the converse and decide its truth value. Um, Which that is true. The converse, it? if you look at the converse, it says a number divisible by 6, then it's divisible by 3. That would be true. But for this example, we, we don't need, need to that. Okay. Uh, moving on. Part D, it says write the contrapositive in words and symbolically. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Don't we usually do inverse next? Oh, you oh. flipped this on me, so I would pay attention, didn't yes. you? Yes. Oh, so okay. we got to think. Got to think. Okay. Contrapositive negates the converse. So let me go back to the converse, and I'm going to negate those, put my knots in. So if a number is not divisible by 6, then it is not divisible by 3. Great. Now, it did say also symbolically. Okay, so symbolically that would be the little squiggle first. So not P implies not Q. Okay. Not Q implies not P. I did say that backwards, yes. didn't I? It's easy to do. Oh, my goodness. I think, I think, and I do this all the time, the P and the Q, I mean, it's it's the same. It, they look similar to me. They you know, do, they do. It, it's like they're a reflection of each other. <laughs> But again, I kind of tricked Mrs. Hope. Yeah, you're here. making me think convert or contrapositive positive. before inverse, mm -hmm. and my brain's not there. Okay, but that's all right. I can you do this. You did now. an awesome job with the actual in words. And guys, think about it in words, it actually has more of a meaning. In this case, symbolically, it's not as useful, so you're not going to see it as much, but it's a good way to get kind of comfortable with that. All right. Okay, inverse. Now I'm on it. You're on it. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do I it. I want to negate the conditional statement. So if a number is not divisible by 3, then it is not divisible by 6. Yay. All right. Now, for my symbols, this one is the not P, then not Q. You got it. Nice work. 